Hey guys, welcome to Safi Next. In this video, I will let you know how to align equations of different lengths about the equal sign. Okay, this is a rough document and I want to write equations between these two paragraphs. So I put the cursor right after the right at the end of the first paragraph and click enter to start a new line and then introduce the equation environment like I'm doing over here and then inside the equation environment I first put the backslash key and then write equation array followed by the m person sign so no sooner did I enter the m person sign and slot for writing equation is generated then I click the backslash button to remove the ampersand sign and then click on the left arrow button to enter into the slot and inside the slot for example I write a simple equation of the form f equals and I want to align the equation to the right of the equal sign so right after the equal sign I once again put an ampersand sign and that is not shown in the equation however i have clicked the m person sign button and now i write the equation m times a which is newton's second law and then i put at the red sign followed by a space no sooner did i click on the space board the at the red sign would disappear and a new line would be started like i am pressing on the board so no sooner did I press on the bar, I am on the new line with a new slot. Then again, I put the equal sign and right after the equal sign, I put the ampersand sign once more. And then can write the equation into this form form m times dv divided by dt. And I add an extra term like an extra term in the form f v and then one more extra term g times uh, d g times dx over dt so uh, you see here one one line of the equation is shorter and the other line of the equation is longer but the two lines are aligned at the equal sign i can write another equation which is different in length at the right of the equal sign for example i once again put the at the red sign followed by the space bar and a new line is entered and then i write uh, equation 2 times a times s plus v sub i squared equals and now i again put the input sign on the right of this equal sign to push the equation and align it with the previous two lines at the equal sign and at the right side I am right v sub f squared now you see the equations the two equations are different on the right however all the three lines are aligned at the equal sign now if I want to give an equation number to these equation I just need I I put the cursor at the end of the second line and keep on pressing the space bar to a suitable position where I want to put the equation numbers like this one. I enter the equation number inside these brackets and then come down to the uh, next uh, equation and put the cursor at the end of this equation and repeat the same procedure and move to the position where I have put the number to the first equation and I enter the number to the second equation as well right now if you are not satisfied from the position of the two equations, you can once again select the whole slot and press the control and press control plus L button to align the equation to the left of the document and then click on the ending sign and drag it to the position where you want to uh, adjust your equation for example I want to put them over here or I can put them over this position okay now I want to enter another equation then I take the ending for the next line to 
its original position and I again introduce the equation environment for another slot. I again introduce the equation array followed by the n person sign then backslash to remove the n person sign and click on the left arrow to enter into the slot and write this equation. Wrangle equals and at the end and to the right of the equal sign once again I put the n person sign which is not shown over here and I then put what epsilon and then on king psi then wrangle and uh, then I put the add button followed by the space bar to enter into a new line and I put the equal sign then the n person sign and then I put iota times h bar and partial divided by partial t then space bar and then I put the it psi into this form. Now you see again the two equations inside the slots are aligned about the equal sign but are not exactly aligned with the previous two equation. So in order to align with the previous two equation you need to repeat the same procedure by selecting the slot and then pressing control plus L button simultaneously and then repeating the same procedure by dragging the indent to a suitable position where the two equations are exactly, where the two slots are exactly aligned. I put this word here. So now the two are exactly aligned. And once that is done, you can repeat the same procedure to give equation number by pressing the spacebar button and taking to the position of the numbers of the previous slot and I put equation 3 over here. Now if you see the 3 is a bit to the right side then I put the cursor to the left of the bracket and press the uh, backslash button to align all these equations. Now you see all the equation whether put in the same slots are out of the slots are aligned exactly. So this way you can align the equation about the equal sign in MS Word. If you haven't just subscribed to Safi Max, kindly support the channel by pressing the subscribe button and also the like button on the video. Thanks for watching.